OTAN, Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. So, have you guys ever used Google Docs? Anybody? Yes, perfect. So, you can do it for homework. You can uh, find out right now that um, after COVID, we find that some people are still struggling with emotion and <clears throat> mental health. So, how are we doing? How are we feeling? Good or bad? That's fine. You can get a, a feel for the class and anything they need to, um, you know, just in general. So, I'm going to open my Google, and this morning what I did is always check your tabs, always check your links, uh, not only for presentations, but for classes. Sometimes links are live and sometimes they're not. So this morning I have a Google um, account and I have multiples. One of them was not uh, able to access. Um, Kahoot also it could be an issue sometimes. But um, the beauty of technology with QR codes and Google Slides and Google Sites is a way to create an opportunity for students to learn in class, outside of class, or even when not in front of you. So thanks for answering that survey. We're going to take a look at your, your answers, and we're going to see what, how we are the same or how do we use some of those. So. If you look, a lot of times when we have some computer issues, uh, a few weeks I worked for Corona Narco Unified School District, the computers or the internet was not working, that most people do have access to their phone, they have a hotspot and all of that. So, the whole purpose of this presentation is to, what are we doing to enhance the learning? It really is not about the teacher, it's really about the student. And because they have their phones, in K-12, having a phone, not the best thing. I teach middle school right now. Uh, I teach Spanish and art. And although they're electives, this is a distractor. For adults, not the case. So. My whole, the whole presentation, I created a Google site to curate all the information that I have for you. So my suggestion is I'm going to take you through this conversation, through this journey, and everybody can hear me, okay, in, in Zoom land. I'm going to share my screen so you guys can take a look at it, okay? So here it is. This is the Google site. So you guys can take uh, and have a look. So I'm gonna, I wanna see, I'm gonna move you guys to this side. I'll click on the first little mark. That right here? Good. Perfect. So enhanced learning. If you have a Google site, you have the opportunity to put videos on there directly, attach them to your Google site. So if you wanna watch a video, uh, a little intro, about the lesson, anything like that, you can put it on there. You don't have to look for it anymore. Um, the presentation, PowerPoint presentation, you can click on it. Also there, a QR code. So if you use your phone and you scan the QR code, it will open up into Canva. And with your phone, you can follow along the, to the PowerPoint presentation. So the PowerPoint presentation that I have, it now is on your phone. And you can take a look at it, right? And you can go back and forth. Plus, it's on Canva, so I can share it. I can make you an editor. So if we're working together, what class do you teach? What is yes, so advanced and AB email. Perfect. So I was uh, teaching an intermediate and advanced last semester. Let's say you have an amazing <laughs> lesson on an EO civics topic. Share it with me. Now we both go editors. I can add something to it. I have a video. The work is divided by half. So here you can click on that. And I don't know if you tell me if they are able to see this. Okay. 
this is just to put it out there, get our name on it, send it to students, and email. It's right on there. I don't have to bother with the link, I don't have to with the link. And this is just marketing, right? So it could be a video about any of your lessons. It's right there and there. Again, I'll go back. That's there. I give you the slide presentation and the link to the presentation. And there it is. So Google Sites. When I start using it, I got, you know, like we think like regular websites. So what if you had a Google site for each of your EL Civics courses or lessons? What if you have a Google site per unit or chapter? So your videos, your links, your surveys, your homework, it's already Canvas, Canva, anything is on there. So. The question that we're going to answer today, and most of you, you know the answer to this because we use technology. This is why we're here, right? How is technology changing education? People use this device more than anything else, more than the microwave, more than TV now. Kids don't even watch TV. They're on their phones. So... We're going to look at some of these things, and I'm going to go quickly because I'm preaching to the choir. Am I right? You guys use technology. You know that this is good. So importance of technology. So I can also share this presentation. It could be something that you're doing for your class, and you can share it with your admin. If you're trying to get some leverage of other people to have a technology team, and you can create those lessons, create those Google Sites, Maybe start with one, get comfortable with what's available, how to add pages, how to take pages away, how to upload the links. But we're gonna go through setting up a virtual learning space. Some of us have access to Canvas. Some of us don't, so Google Classroom works. Uh, the role of interactive technology, the benefits, le remote learning. And so here's the two things. Somebody can read that for me. Anybody? The impact of technology on teaching and learning. So here's the two things that go hand in hand, <laughs> teaching and learning. So as you're learning, you can have the students, intermediate and advanced. Here's the unit for next month. We're going to be talking about uh, internet safety. Here's your assignment. Create a Google site about internet safety, two or three pages, have some YouTube channel, you know, like add a channel or a video, add a link. And so they're working on the next unit that you're going to be teaching. And they create a Google site for the class, not for you. But all of a sudden, it's available, right? They can work up together. So here's what we find out pre-COVID, post-COVID. There's some things. This is wonderful. But you are the bridge. Learning cannot happen if you don't have a teacher. You can be online, you can be on, on, on site. You are the key. You really are. You can have the best, the best technology. It doesn't matter. If you have, if you don't have a quality teacher, it doesn't matter. So good things. Here's some of the key things about the traditional world, right? Physical learning is interactive. People like to touch and feel, right? But you have limited access to materials, right? So if you don't have the textbook, there's no learning. Well, now we have textbooks online. Teaching and learning typical occurs in a person classroom setting. What if you can record yourself, put the lesson online, and for those people who didn't make it, now they can watch it, right? So these are the things that technology gives you. Wider access, can you teach 100 students? Yeah, you can. They yeah. can. Can you teach 200? We're looking at what if I can record my lesson, put it out there, and then the people who are not available or they can watch it on Saturday and Sunday, turn the assignment. Guess what? They did the Google slide. They turn in their assignment. 
Perfect. So the steps, if you haven't done it, to create your virtual classroom or to create virtual environment. If you're gonna do Google Classroom, perfect. If you're gonna use Canvas, perfect. If you're gonna go use a Google site, perfect. Think of it, I teach art. So it doesn't matter how wonderful your art is. If you don't curate it, if you don't put it under the right light, if you don't frame it, it doesn't look as good. It's just kind of flat. So the teachers, the students, your coworkers, your partner, whoever you're working with, even if it's with your students, they're giving you content and you're gonna curate it and put it on Google Sites. So I love the Google site because it's gonna frame your units. So having, how many Google Sites could you have? What kind of units do you have currently that you can say, oh, I can do a Google site on this and have all my content there available. What, what kind of, how do you see this? Oh, I would love to do it for this unit. What will be one? Um, I support all the CT classes. Okay. I'm the ESL teacher for all the CT classes. Perfect. <laughs> so we've, I have it because I'm not good at it, mm -hmm. but my colleague that mm -hmm. is better than I am mm -hmm. has supported me in creating a site. And so we have students so they can log in to the respective teachers' classrooms. It, we are their one-stop shop website. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I look forward to mimicking her. Right. Which is why I'm here and she's not. She knows Beautiful. how to do it already. So if I gave you access to my, <laughs> my Google site and you can see the different links and how I placed it, even though it's only three pages, you'll be like, oh, we can just copy it, take his stuff out, put ours. So what? that's the beauty of having a lesson template, right? You don't have to think. What type of unit do you think? Oh, I can do, do this for this unit and have it available to my students. What, what are you thinking? I'm here to support okay. our students. So um, I'm the teacher, so I'm just kind of taking it out. No problem. <laughs> well, it's a tricky question for me because our whole, all our courses are online. So. Perfect. We all, this is all different. Awesome, beautiful. So if you're already here, some people are picking a management system. Some people are already here just to, you know, create a content or choose the apps. Here's the good news today. Yes, sir. A comment online says for ESL vocabulary and broader ESL unit of study. Perfect. Um, with us, what we did, we started with Google Sites and then taught the students well and transitioned into Canvas because it's pretty much the same. When we started just like what Peg said with vocabulary, definition, and then using activities for vocabulary. So, and then from there, we transitioned to putting all the units that were going to support the textbook that we're using. But we started with something simple like Google um, Sites, which is easier to navigate, and then transitioned into Canvas, which is a little bit more challenging because you have to log in and select here, select there. So, once the students were comfortable with Google, which took us about a whole school year, then we transitioned the following year into Canvas because that's what they use at the community college. So absolutely. Mm -hmm. So it's a good stepping stone. It's a good way to kind of lead them on the, that direction and a way for you to keep things organized on the cloud, right? As we up, upload pictures and do things, you can keep it all together. If you have an assignment, you can add it on here. Somebody was telling me yesterday, oh, but not everybody has ask, access to a computer. Right. What if they cannot do the assignment on actual computer because they have issues logging on? Or, well, if they have the assignment, right, and they can take a picture of the actual assignment, <laughs> and then they do a paper pencil and submit it, put it up there, and then you can just grade it later on. I, I do have a lot of pictures of my students' work online. I'll show you. And so they do take the picture of the actual document and send it to me. So. The role of interactive technology in learning, there's different things that we can do. Obviously, benefits to technology, we already know that. Um, it helps, it allows access, it helps teachers stay connected. So we, if you guys want to commit, one, two, three, four, five, I'm looking for commitment. No, 
But the 10 of us, we can create a co-op. All right. Let's say we we do an intermediate advanced. What textbook do you guys currently use? We're using Burlington English for ESL advanced. Perfect. So a lot of the stuff that Burlington English already has those things. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put it in a Google Classroom on Canvas, you can just put the links, right? So if you work in one session and add additional resources, oh, this is a great unit, but I can add this vocabulary worksheet or I can add this video. Perfect. So we can create a, a co-op and then work on one lesson each with this, at least one video link, at least one activity, at least, uh, you know, a reading comprehension piece, maybe a writing assignment. And then you have those five, 10 things that you decided that you were going to have available. So here's some of the reasons, right? Allows more personal learning. Some students can go faster. Some can go slower. Um, <clears throat> engagement. Yesterday, the keynote was saying it's not about, it really is about engagement. How many students are really involved in the learning? So remote learning is a new norm. We know that. Um, you're, if you ask me, I would love to teach online. I've been out of, out, I was, my schedule since I started teaching has been, I leave at about six, seven o'clock in the morning, teach in the morning, K-12, and then I have a little bit of a break. Hopefully sometimes time to eat. And then I work, go to work at a current or adult school, five to nine. So I leave at six, get home around 10. And I've been doing that for about 25 years. I didn't know any different because most of us that um, have those schedules, even when you're doing your master's, even when you're going to school after, you know, to, to continue your own personal growth, I never had the opportunity to be home. So when COVID hit, all of a sudden, I thought, wow, having breakfast and teaching, having access I am a traditional teacher. School saved my life. I came to the United States when I was 15. LAUSD. Pollito chicken, gallina hen. True story. I thought I knew English. Because I took English in school. I went to colegios, which is paid school. So when you pay for your schooling in Mexico, it's... You know, I had trigonometry in middle school, but I did take English classes two years. Middle school, six, seven, and eight. They gave me the assessment. Is that you ready? We're going to start. What's your name? Omar Andrade. How long, how long have you lived in the country? Six, you know, two to three months. Um, do you speak in English? Yes. Question number one. Do you have any favorite... Hobbies, what do you like to do for fun? Blue, pink, purple, mm -hmm. door, window, pencil. Okay. I saw the first person giving me the test, writing all kinds of notes. So I know it was impressive. Next question. What are your favorite foods? What where do you like to eat? Table, window, house, mom, dad, dog. She kept right. Third question. If there's anything, any place you can travel in the world, where would you like to vacation? Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, uh, January. So I gave her a list of vocabulary words. And then we finished the assessment. Great, Omar, you're <laughs> beginning. Not in the ESL one, not in the ESL. You're like beginning. Like it was the literacy level. And I couldn't believe it because a lot of us that come from other countries learn vocabulary, right? But we don't know we don't know how to attach it to meaning or how to use it in context. So we are walking dictionaries. Did that help me? Yes, but I was super frustrated because I was in zero level, negative one, literacy. Well, after going through high school in four years, what happens when somebody is really eager to learn? Right, and it has the right tools. My teachers. Four years later, AP classes, honors chemistry, and obviously I was able to go to college. Four years later, I remember my last year in my BA when I did good with study. 
Finally, I was learning on calories. Not VIX, calories. Seven years in the language, seven years in the country, bio, and I actually understood everything the teacher was saying. It took seven years, right? To learn the academic language and to acquire learning like most of us do. So it was incredible. Two master's degree later and all this knowledge, all I, why am I telling you this long story? All of a sudden, I was home during COVID. And I it planted a seed. Said, I am my brick and more. I my life, I owe it to teachers, ESL teachers that care about me, took care of me, push me every day, and brick and mortar schools, the physical space, the four walls. This is my temple, my sanctuary. This is what saved my life as an educator, as a student. And for me not to be a traditional teacher and to say that you can do the same or better online. And I believe it. And I see it. Why? Because my own kid, when I was doing, doing conferences pre-COVID and I was going up north and south and because I was an admin and I was sharing the, what I thought technology can do in the future, da, 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 da. my principal was going nuts because my back then he was seven. Oh my God, all these trends is you're always taking him out of school. So I put him online before COVID. I looked for a charter school that was online. They've been doing it for 20 years. And guess what? COVID hit. It didn't matter. They've been doing it for 20 years. All content. My kid didn't have to do math after recess. He can do math with that at night on Thursday, at seven o'clock. He can do on Sunday. Judas thing is now 10. He's here with me, but he's in the hotel. He's like, Dad, I know my teacher puts all the assignments on Canvas on Sunday. What if I do all my vocab, all my spelling, the facts that, you know, the, 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 the busy work that they, they again and again and again, so you get the knowledge, right? The states in cap. What if I do all of that? And then on the on the weeks that I can that, and during the week, I just do like the things I need help with. You mean he was learning 24-7? He was learning 24-7. No more of that time and space. I feel like Einstein, he was MC squared. No more, we were not defined by time or space anymore. We can learn on the way to San Francisco in the car because we have a hotspot and we can connect. We can talk about books, it's online, the teacher, and he's thriving and he's doing really well because he doesn't have to do math after recess. Yes, the social aspects, but guess what? Most of us, modern parents, he's in karate, he's in soccer. We take them to, they do more things. Their schedule is, man, incredible. How, how the things I never got to do? I always tell my wife this household joke that we go, Oh, remember when we were kids and they used to send us for camp for a uh, Mexican? They want to let you go to the 7 Eleven around the corner without anybody, you know? So here it is technology is an effective tool. If you don't learn anything, if, we, if you don't, and this is us, techies, it's something that we continue to share. Even with other teachers, even with the traditional teachers like myself, even with admin, because although we use it, you know, we purchase computers, right? We thought we're going to use technology. Here you go, kids. Ah, uh, no. All of a sudden, we were opening the book and doing everything the same, but on a computer. So it's not about doing things the same, it's about enhancing the learning, right? So having access to different things, global <laughs> markets, improving quality. I went to a session yesterday. First time I ever seen CK12. It's uh, online curriculum for free. As an administrator, because I was the dean of adult ed at Corona High, and I went back to the classroom. Long story. But the reality is, I wanted to get connected with students again. And so, in admin, I thought, hmm, what if you didn't have to buy books? All the money I can save, I can hire two, three teachers because the equivalent I had just purchased myself. I was in charge of high school diploma and equivalency, thousands of dollars of books that are still stored on cabinets. And I don't want to, I don't even want to look for that 
receive because I know we spent thousands. And all of a sudden, <laughs> we needed a PDF form for the credit recovery kids. And we had to scan hundreds of books to store. Sure. So <laughs> technology, great. Blended learning, great, right? Greater investment in interactive technology. So here's a quote, not mine. So you don't have to believe anything I say, but we need technology in the classroom. It's no longer like, a, oh, it would be cool to have. And it has to be interactive. So the experience of, imagine if you can actually learn different languages. Imagine if we had the technology <clears throat> on hand to watch a class, to learn a language, to submit homework, to interact with the teacher. Imagine if we can come up with something about the size of this and use it to learn. We don't have to imagine it because we have it. These are the keys, right? So now, here's the beauty. So this is the content. Obviously, we're going to discuss some questions in the Q&A, but thanks for listening to that little, you know, it's a little bit empowering to talk to other teachers, but obviously, there's some empty seats. And still, at your school, you have some traditional teachers. Those teachers, I've been teaching for 30 years. How would you use technology when I'm ready? Well, guess what? It's time because now we have to do a new adoption for Spanish. I'm not interested on the books. I don't have room for it. So I would love to have something that's available on their phones or online. Better. And I can send it to the parents. So this presentation, it's on there. And I gave you way, I mean, people want to know research. A lot of times when you're in administration, give me the backing. Why do you think this is important? There's research on everything I said and everything you do. So you can look it up about, and I have activities. Here's the best part for students. Here's the website, student survey. Here it is. You click on there, you submit the survey, right? So this is a survey that you guys just did. What apps do you use in the classroom? This just give me this popcorn. Anybody apps that you use in the classroom? Apps or website? Yeah, anything. Okay. For uh, fun, for interaction. The old ESL library, the new Ellie. Okay, perfect. Burlington English USA learns. Great. Jamboard. Jamboard. Yeah, Cahoots. Burlington. Burlington. Our teachers use Edgenuity and Aztec. Awesome. <laughs> Google Suite. Yeah, Google Classroom. Perfect. Beautiful. So, for credit recovery, Aztec, I have online too. Right. So, how does technology value? So, it's not about replacing; it's adding value. Right. Here, you have a beautiful artwork. Now we're going to frame. Now we're going to make it stand out. Classrooms and school. What areas of teaching can you enhance with technology? Anybody? Oh, what do you mean, all? Everything can be. Can your website be better? I mean, can your site be better? Yes. You, yes. Mm -hmm. Lessons, activities. So I know that if we create a lesson, the 10 of us, before we, <clears throat> like let's say we have 20, 30 minutes, I stop this session and we'll work on a lesson. Would it be amazing? It would be better than anything you can do by yourself. I learned that many years ago. As an administrator, you got to get out of the way. Those techies, like she said, you know what, Omar, I'm not really good at it, but that's what you need. Whoever follows that sentence. But the name, fill in the blank. There's some people that love technology that say, okay, just give it to me. They put it online. It's there. It's ready. So comments and questions, you can put it on there. And then if you have any more in the chat, you can share it. It says, from orientation to transitioning from our programs, we use technology even for registration. We use uh, connectable platforms. So yeah, registration, sometimes that's the first entry point, the student to the school, online registration. Right. Um, Remember, um, we use a QR code for our registration. Mm -hmm. So we actually carry it around. I also have it on my phone, on my business card. I have an electronic business card that has a QR code. So if I'm ever on the soccer field and I'm like, oh, you want to take ESL classes? Scan this and register right now. On the spot? On the spot. Right. Wonderful. Yeah. Talk about great. Hey, I'm the soccer coach in the middle school. Yeah. So now you just gave me an idea. Exactly. I'll be like, I'm going to set up a little table 
put, you know, come learn with us because I have two hats, right? I have the K-12 and the adult ed hat. So it's never, and guess what? You can have this, right? I have a question, question. about your QR code. Is that something that your organization has created or is yours as an instructor? It's the organ. So I'm a paraeducator, I'm not a teacher. Okay. So I I have a lot of hats. Our classes, our school is only 400 people, three to 400 students. So because of that, I, I've kind of done teaching. I've, I've done a little bit of everything. So I created the QR code for the school. And so it's the link is our registration. Okay. Uh, we have two, one for GD, one for ESL. Okay, so it is um, for different everybody. programs, but it is for everyone, yeah. Which soccer field is it? Oh, Northern <laughs> California. How about you, which soccer field? Uh, so for me, yeah, Silver I'm Lakes? Silver Lakes? We we don't make it there, but we can set up at Silver Lakes. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Lakes and North Bond referring. Oh yeah. The one right yes, next to the huge. Yes. Do yeah. you go by there? Well, yes. That's a longer story. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so so it, think about it. If you have the QR code for different things and, and, and it access to this website, all of a sudden you're like, wow. And it could be for your own classroom. Some of the students in advanced level CTE, okay, CTE, who, um, who's here for CTE? Somebody said, okay, perfect. Um, it, is web design and web, crea web creation, is this something that pays people or, or okay, is there money in technology with this kind of thing? Absolutely, right? So create a pathway and here's the project. You are to create a website for the school. You are to create a website for this, uh, for the nursing program for the healthcare pathway, for this, for that. And they do it, it's their project, they're learning, and you get a website at the end of it that you can potentially use or not, right? Um, uh, technology for uh, breaks, yes, somebody I want a message, also a, a program I believe is called Connectable, it generates a QR code, enables mass texting, mass emailing, single student communication, uh, we keep student files and updates in there too. We keep attendance in Connectable, test scores, everything for students is stored and available in Connectable. So connectable. That okay. would be also for mass emailing, mass texting. We use Remind at my school site, uh, which is mainly just for text. And it okay. can be two-way communication, one-way communication. So let's let's look up Connectable and have you use instructor it. Instructor to instructor, right? For Remind, instructor to student. We, uh, it could be student to student, the way each teacher sets it up. With reminding, it could be student to student. I have it set up me to them, them to me. Mm -hmm. um, but you can customize it. So, and, and here's my goal for the whole presentation. Mm -hmm. It's to bring educators and technology together to enhance the learning. Whatever you take out of this, bring, uh, brain, brain breaks. When we used to come in from recess in fifth grade, I just turn off the lights, put some music, mm -hmm. put your head down, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that works. Well, now that you have technology, you have brain videos, you have all kinds of videos, uh, you can have a Kahoot, right? And so, um, do you guys care for any of those? Um, one, two, three, or four? What What do you think? We, what do you guys want to play? Two. Two, okay. Let's see. That's going to bring out the code. You can log in with your phone. And we'll just play a couple. Okay. You can do it for content, right? Have you played a Kahoot? I have. Do you like it? Yes. Great, right? So anybody wants to join in just so we can test it out? I just love it when it's all there and it actually works. So the legs were like not working in the morning, but, and then we can just get started. I'll, I'll join in just, to, just for the fun of it. Sam? I have to give myself props, okay? <laughs> it, it hasn't been easy raising kids and being a full-time teacher and going to school. And I'm not even gonna talk about my female brain parts because that's like nice too. You get all the freedom and all the quality plus um, what you have to do at home. No comments on that. All right, let's just get started. I know some of you can join in. And it, the good thing is it will show the code um, up here. So let's just get started so we can play a, a few. All right. And, and I haven't even seen it, so it's fair. Iconic movie quotes. Ready? 
two, three, one. Read and complete the following sentence. Okay. So click next. Yeah. I didn't see it. Oh, maybe the. Ah, may the force. I'm oh, sorry. No. Shoot. Yeah. Did everybody answer? Did I give you guys the answer for pretty much? All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give us the answer, but thank you. Oh yeah, capital. Uh, oh, see. You're right. Oh. Wow, that was hard. That was hard. Great question. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, so we. <laughs> Congratulations, teacher. How do you feel? Okay. All right. Next. <laughs> Next. Look at us. Anybody wants to take a picture? This is. I never seen this before. <laughs> I never seen this before. Okay, next. Okay. Should I have the period or oh. <laughs> now we're now we're all overthinking it. Period, no period. Should I capitalize? Is there an accent? Uh -huh. But this is good because in many activities we want students to be able to see like like especially like for high school right. sometimes the answers are so similar yeah. that they read. Let's see who answered first. Um, of course, Moby Bob. <laughs> the name says it all. Okay, one more and then we'll move on. Because uh, we, we're gonna run out of time. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let me open it up one second. Sorry. I forgot to put that in. Do we get it? Is everybody in? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. We all got it right. Marcy. You should have seen our first one. We got yes. it wrong, all of us. <laughs> <laughs> all of us, we're united together. At least we're doing it. So obviously, great brain break, right? Great way to learn grammar, way better. I play cahoots with my students. I teach Spanish one. There's some great cahoots. And honestly, they don't even know that they're learning Spanish. Because if I give them the vocabulary words, Oh, what? We're doing vocabulary again? <laughs> but if we play them a cahoot, especially the cognates, especially those words, I love to do cognates for them because of, the, oh, how do you say taco, Mr. Right on my way? <laughs> and because, you know, I said, okay, here, first day of school, Spanish class, Los Angeles, San Diego, Santa Monica, Santa Cruz, and then. They're Spanish words? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to close it. That's the Kahoot. So my activities are right under. Are they still looking at the right thing? Yes. Perfect. And then quick videos. Here's a video. Right? They do. So this video talks about technology. Right, so that's fine. I'm gonna stop it. We're not gonna go. So there's a video, and so here in the website, I put in some information about me, Corona Narco and Corona Narco Adult School. He's my, here's my email at the district and at UCR. And so if you want to send me, hey, I was working with this lesson. Uh, I know I have, you had your template. Can you share it with me? So you can send me an email and I'll share you uh, share my template with you if you want to use it. It's only three pages. I only have three things on there. Simple. It could be for a week if you want to use it for a week. Um, in Spanish, we talk about 
one of the lessons is about things around the classroom. So it could be just a website for just things about around the classroom. Education for life, right? So that's my saving grace, is my model, is what I do, is what I want to do. And I put the map, just in case you didn't know where you were. And I put some other sample activities that you can do. So here's our vocabulary review. You guys want to take a look? We have a few minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to go quick. Because you saw the PowerPoint, and the PowerPoint is nice, but we're talking, we're, we're preaching, preaching to the choir, right? So here it is. Flashcards. Do we like flashcards? Great way to learn. Quizlet, you guys familiar, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect. So singular. Okay. So let's see. Next. It's 207. We're going to go only through 100. I'm kidding. <laughs> so enough. Any... Right, so vocabulary. Um, let's participate. Paycheck. Money. That's okay. I'll take money. Income. Income. Money for work. Money for work. So, and and here's the best thing. It, what if it's wrong? It really isn't because they're connecting their neurons. They're thinking, money. What do I know about this? Here it is. Right. It's official. A check receive or work completed. Some of us don't receive checks anymore. Anyway. Yes. This is something that I, I've seen Quizlet never uh -huh. really used it though. Right. And you send the students a link and then they have their vocabulary. You can send them the link. You can create your own Quizlet specific to your vocabulary. Quizlet is like a session <laughs> of itself. Trying to teach Quizlet and how to use it because the wonderful thing about Quizlet, Quizlet, there you can do the flashcards. You can do the learn, where they learn the vocabulary. You can do that test. I love the test. Sometimes they just copy and paste and put it on the desk. They can do the test and they can match it. Which one do you guys want to do? Choose one real quick. Based on the cards that you Based have. Based on the cards. There, yep. Quizlet creates a yes. test. Oh, Ooh, yes. Yes, I like it. Okay. Match, what do you guys want to do? Do the side. Test. I want to do the test. Test, okay. Let's do a test. <laughs> uh, shoot. <laughs> Hopefully it goes quickly because you do have... I try to have everything signed in, and if it doesn't work, sorry. Okay, perfect. I think it did. Bye. Go away. Got it. Did it do it? Did it do it? No? Okay, it's thinking. I know it's going to space and back, so we'll give it some time. Dismiss. Okay. Something is wrong. Choose your answer. False. 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 Okay. Next one, go up. True. True, okay. Uneasy or anxious? True. True, True. okay. We don't need to print this. We can, they can just do it electronically. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So if you have one of these, these are going to be great in the future. You should get these stocks. Mm -hmm. Buy stocks on any of these. <laughs> it's the way of the future. So what would what, what you say? I didn't even read it. True. True, okay. True. True. All right. Ah, somebody said awesome. No. Thank you, whoever you are. Yeah. False. 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 Thank you. True. 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 Oh, matching. File. Nice. Alien. Alien. Well, oh, this is an important word. It's, I know people don't like it. We can talk about it. Let's have a, a, a social conversation about that word and what does it mean, right? Is it correct? This is incorrect, right? Blinds. Blinds. Blinds, okay. Perfect. We get it? Yeah. Quizlet. Yeah. So here's the best thing. Someone was like, oh, Kahoot, I have music. Is it great at the end? It gives you, yes. It gives the student the score? Yes. You like Keep it? going. Keep going. See, it, it, it's it twenty. Like. Okay, fine. We'll go. We'll go. Fine. This is your presentation. Okay, come on. Here. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to read them. Go. Okay, go. We're gonna. Faster. I wanted to get hundred percent. Okay, so here. From the social media. Skip that one. Skip it. Okay, skip, skip it. it. Skip, skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Do that. Oh, there. The words are right. Yeah, there. submit. Oh, okay, there it is. Submit. 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 Perfect. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. not gonna let me. Is it? Okay, fine. Fine. Let's see. 
Oh, the visual literacy skills over here. I think for the you have to drag everything. No, click and, and tap. Click and tap. But if it's the student phone, click. It'll be just and tap. Okay, yeah. And last one. Did I do all of them? Yeah. I know. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You have done first. Just checking. Okay. Give me a commercial. Sure. Still checking it. Oh, here it is. Well, not thanks to you. I was doing great. <laughs> now I got 90 correct. I probably missed all the last ones. But this is a good way. So Quizlet, if you didn't learn anything in any session, Quizlet. Well, okay, that's my gift to you. All right. So I was going to use form. Seriously, I told myself Sunday after uh -huh. the conference, I'll go do this activity to be ready for Monday, but I'm not using it. So many in here. Yeah. yeah. You have to create an account as a teacher, right? Okay. Google. Okay. Google will create it for you. Yeah. I love free, free stuff. Teachers love free stuff. Yeah. Oh, Google. There's, there's so stuff. Okay, everybody, um, we have a few minutes. Pretend you have a, let's have a pretend bag, right? And you put in all your free stuff that I'm giving you today. And you're taking it. So when you walk into campus on Monday, you're like, look at all my free stuff that I got at the conference. Because it's all online. And I don't own anything. Somebody took time, spent thousands of dollars creating this stuff. Use it. It's there. Um, videos with Q and A's. There's that. I was like, what? So you can watch a video for uh, ESL, intermediate and advanced, all kinds of levels, and it has questions already attached to it. So three questions, okay, real quick. Have you seen these? Okay, perfect. She's, she's nodding. Okay, we're gonna go quick. I'm gonna click pay, play. All right, so you watch that video and then answer the questions real quick. What is the first thing? He looks at his phone. Okay. Uh, why does Mark look at Facebook? See what's going on in the world. You know that a lot of people get their news from that, right? Yeah, too bad for the TV channels. Checking his messages on the phone. Ooh. Good Three. No more, than no, no more than a few minutes. What application does Mark Facebook? <laughs> Facebook and, and WhatsApp. 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 All of these? WhatsApp. Middle. Middle? Uh, no, you mentioned WhatsApp and Facebook and Messenger. Okay. Bottom. Fine. Bottom. Bottom. Yes. Bottom like WhatsApp. He owns WhatsApp. He wears contacts. <laughs> okay. Uh, does Mark wear contact lenses? Yes. Yes, he does. And works out first and takes a shower. Okay. <laughs> okay, so and then you could put your name, class code, whatever. So, so it's um, let me move this one second. ESL video, uh, it video.com, and there's quizzes. So, yes, there's a similar um, and if you go to the old time website, it under resources, it's learn 360, and it's exactly the same. It has the video, and uh, you can also download worksheets to go along with it. And if you go into old time, create an old time account, I will throw open so that's why uh, you could get a free t-shirt account because it's usually oh. paid subscription. So you would be able to do that. We use that in our split very Come here, Francisco. Come here. And, you guys don't know Francisco, you need to know Francisco. Give him a round of applause. He can do the for old time. Come here. Come here. So okay. do you know what it's called? Uh yes, we go on to the old time website, okay. oldtan.us. Perfect. Let's put it in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is great. Info. Us. Uh huh. And then on the under resources, we go right here under resources, curriculum offers, and then here it shows all the curriculum offers. Let me think yeah, of the way of the, uh, for teachers and for students. So you see right here, Learn Three Hundred and Sixty, and when you click on it, you just fill out a short. It'll give you um, the information, and then if you want to sign up for it, you would contact OTAN directly and they would um, create an account for you. So we have Learn360, Learning Upgrade, USA Learn, Skills for Nursing Assistant. This is one that is also being used a lot for like uh, CNA programs. Uh, so again, to register, you would click here and it's like a short, oh, oh, this is the actual USA um, Learn site. So Again, visit the OTAN website under resources, uh, curriculum offers, 
pretty much every year they have different ones. At one point they had New Zella or News ELA, which is kind of similar to what we saw before where you read about the news and then um, you could customize beginning, intermediate, advanced level. So right now those are the current curriculum offers. Please use them because not a lot of people are taking advantage of them. Thank you, Francisco. Give them a round of applause. See, this is what is this is what it is in the real world. Educators helping each other, connecting one another. Now you have two things I gave you that you can use. You're welcome. The video for comprehension. So now you can say, oh, I didn't learn anything in that session. Lies. Okay. And then um, so Kahoot, we love it. Just to finish up, Burlington English. Oh, obviously. Uh, there's a video that you can click and watch. Uh, it's a pitch. We use it. We love it for ESL. Great curriculum. Some of these things. I love it when you don't have to do the teaching. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are great. You're fully credentialed, state, master's degree. Some of them have PhDs. Nothing against you. I am also wonderful. But guess what? <laughs> Some people are really great. Maybe even better than you. And what if you can have access to that feature or that lesson? For your student, it's not for you. I know you think it's about you, but it really isn't. It really is about the students. So, just so you know, in my homepage, you have this, and then I have other things, things that you use: ebooks, smartphones, online courses, interactive groups, and it tells you a little bit about that. I just gonna finish giving. Uh, there's a sorry. So, Omar, resources. that page is what you give students. So I give them access to my page. And I tell them, here's what you find. And there's a, I don't know, and on the resources. Remind to give them access, or how do you give them access? Uh, I can take the URL, mm -hmm. give to them in their Google uh, Classroom or on Canvas, mm -hmm. and then they have access to the unit. So Google Sites is the curator. Everything you put in is the bag of goodies, OK? We have the two more minutes before we finish, because I know somebody has to set up for the other session. So kudos to Canva. The presentation, the PowerPoint was created by Canva. The videos I show you also created by Canva. Um, Powtoons, there's videos there that you can create. If you never use Powtoons, look it up. Amazing. Powtoons is super great. Like there's, I didn't get a chance to, uh, to actually show you that, but th th there's a video on there. Um, Quizlet, you already know, vocabulary, practice, and this is stuff that they can do on their own, right? Uh, don't limit them to the four walls. Don't limit them to the three hours. You figure it out how long the activity takes. You can give them additional hours for online um, engagement, right? Kahoot, we love it. Uh, Google Sites, Google Form, Google anything. It's free. It's available. They can use it on your phones. And YouTube videos for comprehension and all that. Learn it in English, something that we use. Thank you again for the opportunity to be here with you. I hope you took something that you can use. I, I, I would use a Google site to curate my materials per lesson, per unit, and that way it's available. And this is not mine. I actually got that idea from our assistant principal that just walked in. She shared something for real civics, and I thought, oh, what if I put my whole presentation for today on a Google site? I had this stuff. I just have to curate it. So that's something that I learned. So thanks for being open to learning some new stuff. Hopefully you got some a couple of good uh, links for you. And we're going to finish that. If we have any comments on the chat. So yes. uh, Peg says, awesome session. Powtoon is easy to use for teachers. We've had our HSE students make presentations on it. So student presentations using technology. Uh, also peer teaching. Sometimes with Burlington English, like you said, you know, the students self-teach. And they help other students in the classroom in that lesson. So it's like my role is more of the facilitator. I'm letting them, you know, teach, and they'll probably learn better from each other than from me talking for two hours on stuff. But you know, that's a great point that you said. You know, with ed with uh, technology, students can self teach. Yeah. Each other. Yeah, sometimes and they're great. Anywhere. Some of our students are really, really tech savvy. I let them take over. So, I'm my saying. feeling is that um, it, it's somewhat too uh, messy. He can do amazing things. Is he a good coach? We don't know. We don't know. But he can do amazing things. So a good coach, a good teacher, it's what they can get the students to do, how they can get the students to work together to access the material and be successful, not what 
you know, look at me, I'm a big show. Right. And that's and that's what we want to get. You want to get out of your way. You're great, I'm sure, and you have great ideas and great lessons. Work together, make them better, and share with other teachers because you'll be surprised. It's almost like paying it forward. Uh, if you create a lesson and, and share with others, by the time it comes back to you, it's going to be 10 times better. So here's my last uh, gift for you before the class. Here's some of the things that you should do that most of us do. And during the class, you share the lesson, you work with them. Here's the best piece for me. Always have the time to reflect, take the time to say, oh, that worked, that didn't work. This this presentation, I'm going to do it at our, our consortia. Um, we have a, a, a yearly train so teachers and other students can create their own Google sites. And then you can do it for pictures. You can do it for family trips. You can do it for different things. Have those things outside the box. Uh, you can do it for coaches. And every coach can have their own page. Anything. So, again, thank you for being here with me. Uh, it's been wonderful.